What up, Gotham Guardians and Arkham Habiseries? It's your boy Trey and his Wonder Wife Sarah of the Bat Channel. And I'm, I'm flipping excited because Jurassic World Dominion just came out with the official trailer. <sighs> Chills. Yeah. Jurassic World Dominion. I've been waiting for this film for a while. I, I You guys have heard me say it a million times. I'm a huge dinosaur nerd. It's the, it's the dinosaur man! Okay. Met Jack Horner, who's the paleontologist that Sam Neill's character, Alan Grant, was based on, you know, like, met him multiple times, like, so, so cool. And, and just, you, you can tell, <laughs> dinosaurs all over the place. So, my wife knows I have a problem. <laughs> I mean, I also love dinosaurs, not on your level. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a bit extreme. <laughs> It's like Batman, dinosaurs, Godzilla. That's that's me. Star Wars and all that good stuff. But we've been watching, you know, Team USA, USA curling the Olympics and seeing some of those TV spots come up yeah. for Jurassic World. But, you know, obviously we haven't seen any footage since the prologue, which we saw uh, for the Fast and the Furious IMAX experience. But they added a little bit to that when we saw it again, when they released it on YouTube. Mm -hmm. And... You know, Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous is getting season five now. Yeah, season, season five. five. You know, hopefully in May, right before, you know, Jurassic World Dominion comes out. I already know the original cast from the original Jurassic Park is going to be in this film. So excited. <laughs> Do you think we're going to see them in this trailer? I hope we see uh, Grant. Grant, yeah. That, I mean, he's my favorite, so I hope so, too. Well, that's the important thing. Okay, let's not, let's spare no more expense. Spare no more expense. <laughs> let's, let's go ahead and get this rolling. We hope you have your headphones ready because it gave me some dinosaur roaring. But uh, let's go ahead and hope, let's, you ready? I'm ready. Smash that like and share and subscribe, <laughs> you know. Help us out. Make our channel bigger. <laughs> But uh, here we go. Come down in three, two, two one. Play. Life finds a way. Okay. It's my dinosaur. I wanted to show them something that wasn't an illusion. Yes. Something that was real. Something that we could. See and touch. Creation <gasps> is an act of sheer. There's wind. a baby blue. What? Life. How? We'll find a way. I don't even care how. There's a baby blue. Yeah. We can't keep her here forever. Oh, it's sneezy. <gasps> they find her, we're never gonna see her again. We gotta protect her. That's our job. Humans and dinosaurs can't coexist. <laughs> oh my God. An ecological disaster. <gasps> Alan Grant. Oh my God. You didn't come out all this way just to catch up now, did you? You coming or what? <laughs> Oh, that's a, a pirate. We're turn the extinction of no, our species. We not only lack that's dominion cool. over nature, oh. we're subordinate to it. There's a pirate raptor. Yeah. <laughs> come back. I always come back. Not exactly. No way! You know Ceratops? Don't, don't move. Uh -huh. Edgar, why 
way do they always have to go bigger? It's oh my God. This is magnificent. Well, yeah, ooh, ah, that's how it always starts. But then later there's running and, and screaming. We're like a little kid right now, it's great. Totally, I haven't had this like, e this like excitement. excitement since like Zack Snyder's Justice League trailer, like first release, like. It's true. You know what we have to do, right? What? We have to watch all the movies. Oh hell yes, this. hell yes! I mean, I I kind of watch it on like every two months, um, like True. at least the first one and Jurassic World because mm -hmm. I, I I love Lost World too. I love them all for different reasons, but oh my god, this is gonna be such a good movie. It, it like you know like we kind of talked about in some of our other beers like how Spider Man No Way Home was such a fan service film to like all Spider Man lovers and Marvel fans. This is that for Jurassic Park and Jurassic World fans. Right. I mean, you got Henry Wu, who looks like he's he's gone through some, like, mad scientists, you know, crazy stuff. But all these new dinosaurs that must be from Biosyn. Um, because, I, as you know, we've learned from Jurassic uh, World Camp Cretaceous, there's another company out there. Um, I'm totally spacing there. Is it? It starts with an M. Manta, Manticore. Manticore. Uh, and then, you know, Biosyn, which was... Um, Dawson, uh, the company that he was part of with Jurassic Park, taking all the dinosaur DNA and okay. stuff like that. So I think that's where we're getting like the the Pyroraptor. Uh, that's that I'm totally spacing the other type of Velociraptor's name that was chasing Owen through that city. Oh, I love that it's like this open world is just chaos with all the dinosaurs like roaming free. I'm so glad, because literally now it feels like a Jurassic, Jurassic World, world. Mm -hmm. oh, which is so freaking exciting. I love oh that we God. saw everybody. Yeah, the most, but the, the big, other than, you know, the original cast coming back, what the hell? Blue has a kid. Baby or a, Blue. A baby Blue. Sounds like Blue's Clues, like a baby Blue. <laughs> um, how? Does her... I mean, life finds a way. I know, but does... I mean, did she, is she mutated, like, her genes, you know, from where some of that code was filled in, like, can she reproduce asexually? I mean, some of the other dinosaurs did that, so that would make sense, because of the frog DNA. Well, they didn't quite produce asexually, they just were able to change from male to female in a single-sex environment. Hmm. Malcolm was right. Life found a way. God, there. Unless if she's maybe been, but it's clearly uh, she's like the baby is clearly from Blue. Right. They're oh god, they're gonna have to unless if she was already pregnant when she left. I don't know. Dress, but all the They'll probably no, explain that because Camp Cretaceous says it's been a few years between Fallen Kingdom, so she would have already had her younglings mm -hmm. then. God, I thought when when Colin Trevorrow, the director of Jurassic World, um, posted a Christmas picture. Of like it was a Christmas tree and an ornament with blue, and there was a like a baby blue in the background. I thought that was just like a, a thing. I didn't realize that was actually a thing. Yep, I'm excited. I'm so blown away by it, and clearly someone tried to capture her. It must be Doctor Wu wanting more mm -hmm. of because they wanted blue before. Right. Um. God, I yeah, I love that. It's like wrangling dinosaurs. <laughs> like what? What? That is just cool. But like, oh, Alan Grant back. And I will say one thing that bugged me about Jurassic Park 3 was that him and Ellie Sattler weren't together. together. Uh, that that has always, to me, been like a big mess up on the total storyline because Jurassic... There's so much potential. Oh, totally. But like, you just get the feeling like, why? Like, the one part where she wanted Alan Grant to maybe grow was be wanting to be a dad and it, mm -hmm. they suggested at the end of Jurassic Park that he he could do that like he could you know be with be that idea father. yeah right. he, he could grow to it um and then Jurassic Park 3 you find out she's with some other dude who mm -hmm. is part of the government somehow I think was it like Department of Defense that's how she was able to get like the Navy SEALs to save Alan Grant yeah uh in Jurassic Park 3 so clearly she must still be 
working with, or at least close to the government side of things and, and needs Alan Grant's help to, to maybe wrangle in some dinosaurs, which I, I originally, I thought they were just going to be maybe cameos and not like we would never see him with Owen like Grady. Like references? Well, not, not references, but just like with everyone together. I'd be, I thought it'd be like team A and team B off right. doing their own things and they would never join together. But then but when they, they do. <sighs> Perfection. We're going to have to see this movie like several times. Oh, yeah. I saw Jurassic World like uh, three or four, four times. times yeah. yeah. And then you know when they came out with Jurassic Park again in theaters, you know, I think it was like the 25th anniversary. Yeah. Something like that. I, I went to go see it again. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I do like that they didn't reveal the dinosaur at the end. Oh, I, I totally know what that dinosaur is. Oh, no. I We know what it is, but I'm happy that they didn't show it. Because I wanted well, some can, mystery to be in the movie. I think you've kind of already seen it, though, because it's, it's uh, well, at least I think it's the Giganotosaurus. Mm -hmm. uh, and from what I've heard, Biosyn is kind of, because I, I watch Clayton Fiorti's YouTube channel. I love his YouTube channel where he talks about, like, a lot of the behind-the-scenes Jurassic Park stuff. Um, but Biosyn has been creating more scientific, accurate Dinosaurs. That's why you see the pyroraptor with a lot of okay. feathers. Oh, and the the, the flying um, quat. Um, I'm totally gonna mess up its name. Um, the Quetzalcoatlus. Yes. Yes. Uh, which that thing. So it like came from like the late Cretaceous period. It's the biggest uh, winged dinosaur that we've seen yet. It had like a wingspan of 45 feet. Holy cow! So the fact. Nerd alert. That's insane that that's in there. Like, cause that's truly a terror in the sky, mm -hmm. you know? And, oh, man, this film is going to be, I hope it's like three hours long. I heard uh, Sam Neill say that they shot like a five-hour film. So I kind of hope, Universal, if you're listening, give us that extended director's cut. Because, come on, man. Come on. <laughs> it's so good. Do it. Okay. So I have a theory, and I think I've talked about it before, but you tell me what you think. Um, one, so two, we'll talk about two theories. One, do you think um, Cam Cretaceous is going to be mentioned at all? As we learned in Cam Cretaceous, there is another island close by, you know, the, you know, the Isla Nublar, Isla Sorna, all mm -hmm. those islands. Do you think Cam Cretaceous is going to be referenced at all? Maybe some of the characters like... Uh, Darius. Darius, thank you. Darius, I'm totally, see? I'm off it. Uh, but do you think, like, Darius I is going to show up? I don't think the characters are going to show up. I definitely okay. think the camp's going to be mentioned in some Maybe way Bumpy. or another. Maybe? Yeah. Or at least see Bumpy. So. I don't know. It'd be, I would love to see some form of way that it's connected mm -hmm. all together. And maybe a mention of Manticorp? Because clearly Man Manticorp is going to go down. Yeah, yeah, I could definitely see that. Um, and then the next question is... Jurassic, so, oh, what was I going to say? I lost it. I lost it. There it is. Oh, the, the, oh, yes, now I remember. See, it only took me a second. I had to think through all my theories that I have on this <laughs> one because I have a ton. Um, so, the boy from Jurassic Park 1 who says, that's not scary. That doesn't look very scary. <laughs> More like a six-foot turkey. <laughs> You know, and then, you know, he does, Sam Neill does the whole, like, oh, a little retractable claw, and he comes at you from the sides. Yeah. Do you think that's Owen Grady as a kid? No, I don't think so. You don't think so? I, I you know, I don't think so as well. I just think it would be, like, a super cool, it, it would be, it'd be a real cool, like, ah. Oh, right, it'd it be was a really connected, cool tie-in and time. super connected, yeah, but I don't think that's him. Okay, that's fair. Um, intriguing. I, I'm probably going to watch this like three more times because the fact that Blue has a, a youngling is really making me puzzled. I want a baby Blue. You want a baby Blue? <laughs> I don't think that'd be smart. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Dinosaur? Maybe the ultimate Well, I mean, we do have this. We could, you know, mm -hmm. just like call it and, mm -hmm. and, and call for help and, and do all that stuff. <laughs> So I'm going to call for you guys to, you know, like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel if you want to see us do some more Jurassic Park and Jurassic World content because I can't wait for June 10th or, or Camp Cretaceous Season 5. We got to right. know what's going on. Mm -hmm.
It's crazy. Mm. <laughs> but thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Trey, your host of The Bat Channel, with his lovely wonder wife, Sarah. And don't forget to tune in weekly, same Bat Time. Same Bat Channel. <laughs> <laughs> See you later.